still look good. Kaiser Maximilian Restaurant and Cafe. They are part of the restaurant week option and we are gonna try them first. Stay tuned guys. So Food Fun Finance, we are here in Puerto Vallarta. So we are at Kaiser Max Amelia. See the sign up there? It says espresso bar because there are two parts to it. There's an espresso bar and then there's the regular Kaiser Maximilian. And at night, the, the, the regular Kaiser Maximilian, that's where they host the dinner portion of the restaurant. And over here, the espresso bar is where they do the lunch and the other servings, which is the espresso bar. So with that being said, I already got my Corona and I already got my Margarita. So I'm about to get down. You gotta learn how to pour like a champ. That's what I just did, I poured like a champ. I'm gonna show you how great I am. So this place is beautiful. You guys have to come here and experience this. This is different. This is like no other place that's in Mexico. Not to me, because I've been to many different places in Mexico and they have all had their own unique flavor to it. We are in the heart of downtown Puerto Valleta. Still said it wrong. It don't matter. I'm gonna butcher this name for this whole video. So I do apologize for all my Spanish people out there that's watching this, my Spanish community. I really do apologize. I'm trying to say it right, so Blame please me bear with me. <laughs> A little bit more alcohol is gonna sound all perfect. So one thing I can tell you right now, this drink is strong. So they are not holding back on any of the liquor. Like literally, I think this is lime juice and tequila with 80% tequila and 20% lime juice. Like, this is strong, you know, like. And I like places like that because, you know, they give you what you want at, you know, in the beginning, you feel me? You don't gotta be sitting there buying six drinks to try to get to where you need to be. One drink and you are a theater, most definitely. I love places like that. So it's really amazing here right now. Like, oh, so this week, or this month is Pride Month for, uh, for this city. So there's a lot of different Pride festivities that's going on. <laughs> a lot of craziness you will see in these streets right now. Like, crazy. So also, we have Restaurant Week. So being that it's Restaurant Week, they do a special where they offer a certain amount, which this is the highest amount I've seen, 575 pesos for a three course meal. And that three course meal includes your appetizer, your main course, and the dessert, which I thought was awesome. And when I was doing my research before I came to this place, I seen all of this and I was like, this is where we need to be. This is not why we came here, but it just so happens that we are here for restaurant week. They call it restaurant week, but it's really like several weeks of this. It's from May 15th to June 10th. So we're gonna indulge in it while we're here and we're gonna let you know how it went. So I think a lot of the restaurants that are included in restaurant week are a lot of the key restaurants that's in this area. So we'll get to taste those different flavors and those different restaurants to be able to let you know what places you need to go to when you are here in Puerto Vallarta. Well, let's just call it PV for this video because look, y'all ain't gonna be roasting me in the comments about this video because I can't say these things right. Anyways, the food on its way, let's go. <laughs> it looks pretty. Look at that bread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess this little thing that probably looks like ice cream to the world, but it's butter and this bread is so soft. Like, oh my goodness. Butter the bread up. Come on. Come on. That is some good bread. <laughs> this is white bread. And they also have, well this is a little bit harder. So we're gonna stick with the white bread. That's good. Butter, butter, butter. It's all about that butter action. Spread it on there evenly. See, I'm giving y'all free classes on how to butter bread. Spread it on there evenly. 
You look like you're struggling. I don't struggle at nothing. The struggle was real. All right, so I think we in there now. Look at that. This bread is really good. I really like this bread. It almost tastes like cake. It almost tastes like cake. You hear what she said? It almost tastes like cake. It's just so soft. Like if they had to add some sugar to this, this would taste almost like mm -hmm. a pound cake. So, Food Fun Finance, this looks like dessert, but it's actually the appetizer. So, it's kind of misleading because this little piece of bread right thing there looked like a pastry, but I know those are mushrooms and this is mashed potatoes with chicken smeared in there. Uh, so it is called creamy chicken and mushroom ragu puff pastry. So it's different. Let's find out how different it is. Food for finance, you ready? All right, so I'm gonna taste this, which is the chicken. Look at that. Look at that. So that's good. Let's try this by itself, which is the mushrooms. You see that? It's kind of dark, but I'm never scared. That's good. So I'm thinking when you mix them together, it's gonna be good. So this is the pastry. I guess you're supposed to dip it. Oh my goodness. Oh my God! This pastry is good. I can really, really soft. So let's try them together. That's a really unique flavor. Cause it's like the action of the mushrooms and the chicken. The mushrooms on the salty side, the chicken a little bit on the sweet side. It is excellent. Excellent. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm gonna be able to share this with you. I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at her. <laughs> you could always come down here and check it out yourself. I highly suggest you do, because this right here, oh my goodness. Y'all need to stay tuned, because we got plenty more coming on this way. There's a lot of dishes that we don't know how to actually eat it, because I think what it was, we went to Herbs and Rye in Las Vegas, and they gave us capicio for the first time and we had no clue how to eat it and the way everything was orchestrated on the plate is based off of their culture and how they combine their foods together and until he explained how to eat it we just thought it was lunch meat point blank period but once you learn how to eat the foods maybe mix it together just like somebody told me it's another italian thing that you eat and you got to mix it with the rice and mush the rice up it's not capicio, it's something else. It was something we ate in our Maldives, and it was rice and chicken. It was something that we ate at Latitude. I like this, so this is a unique flavor. So if you're not into eating different things with unique flavors, this may not be for you, but I really like this because it's different. And this is an appetizer. It is not something that you may traditionally eat, but it's good. Look at this, man. This is hype. I'm a big fan of snapper because it's a fish from the ocean. So I really don't jump in. So all fish don't come from the ocean? No. No, 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 no. Some fish come from streams, ponds, and lakes, and other stuff like that. Yeah. Saltwater fish is weight to me, in my opinion. So y'all can bash me in the comments if you want to. Saltwater fish is way more better than freshwater fish. I don't even know, like, how do these fishes get into those ponds anyways? Leave me a comment, let me know. I don't know, explain it to me, because I don't get it. Oh my God. Oh my God! This is good, like, that is cilantro chopped up on the top of it. This is tomato, celery, cucumber, zucchini, cucumbers, tomato, tomato. I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes. I'm gonna say that broccoli for Brittany because she's gonna be mad at me if I eat it. So this is awesome, y'all. Look at that. Look at that juice in it. Do you see that? It's like the cilantro give it a whole nother vibe, yo. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't even want to give it to her. There's a piece of potato under there too. There's like Those. different vegetables underneath it. Oh my goodness. I'm sweating in excitement. No, it's just really hot. But stay tuned for Fun Finance. This will not be here when you get back. Didn't I tell you that Snapper was going to be gone? Look what's up next. So, I don't even know what this is. So I'm gonna look at my little guide right here. It is a 
So this is the Austrian apple strudel. That is the vanilla ice cream. It is a different color, so I'm assuming that is naturally made. Because when you see vanilla that's that dark like that, I think that means it's naturally made. Don't quote me on that. But you bash me in the comments and you let me know what you think. So let's go ahead and taste that. Apple strudel. Hmm, <laughs> that's pretty darn good. Pretty good. Taste this vanilla ice cream. So yeah, that's most definitely naturally made ice cream. I think I'm gonna like this dessert right here. This is an Austrian apple strudel. I think we made a good choice when we chose this because it's different. Like we haven't been to Austria, so we can't compare anything until we get there. You just stay watching because we're gonna get to Austria most definitely sooner than you think. Food Fun Finance, stay tuned for the review. Let's go. So Food Fun Finance, this is the biggest takeaway of this video. Make sure, especially, especially if you are drinking a lot, make sure you get you a couple of these. This would be my fourth one since I've been to PV. Remember in the beginning of the video, PV means Puerto Vallejo, okay? Let's go, electrolyte. This is what you need, most definitely. It will keep you leveled out, man. You won't be feeling all, uh, especially if you're drinking and stuff like that. Food Fun Finance is your favorite part of the video, the review part. So you can get to know if this is a place that you should check out. So we're gonna go over the environment, the customer service, the food, then the pricing. So Food Fun Finance, we're gonna hit you with the environment. We are in PV, Puerto Vallarta, whatever you call it. We are here. This is a beautiful city. You can see it is in the development stages, but don't let that disturb you. Or don't let that take away from the beautifulness, the naturalness of this place, because this is nice. So with that being said, environment to me, five stars. Depending on you with the heat, you see the sweat coming down my face. If you don't like the heat, well, there's actually an option to go inside and be in the AC, but we wanted to be out here so you can see what's going on in the background, all that good stuff. And um, the light on the inside was terrible, so we wasn't gonna do that. With that being said, environment five stars, especially for me, five stars. Then we're gonna run into the customer service. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. The customer service was excellent. Like, they catered to all of our needs. Oh, the freaking owner came out and shook my hand. He came out. You know, when the owner come out and greets you, that's a good thing. You want to make sure you are very well taken care of. Yes, customer service, five stars. Food, oh my goodness. Like the food, I really like the food. Britt, I need you to chime in somewhere. So what should we give the food as far as a five star scale? From the zero to five, what I'm really feeling like 4.5 on this place, like even a 4.7. How do you feel? Like in actuality, Brittany is like the real food because like she'd be hard on these these restaurants backs and I'd be going back and forth with her. Well, you gotta think of it from a down-to-earth perspective. You can't always look at it based off of our experiences because we've been so many places a lot of other people haven't experienced. This is good, like, I enjoy this place or any other place, and you may think, oh, I've had better. A lot of people haven't had better, so this might be their best. So, with that in perspective, great name. Would you want to come here a second time? I would, third time? I would come back. Okay. I would come so, back. So we gotta put those type of things in perspective when we giving out the rating because we don't wanna be too tough on these restaurants because we've tasted a lot of freaking food. Over 250 videos. We've eaten a lot. So with that in mind, to me, honestly, if I was just out here and, and just roaming the streets of Puerto Varete and, and run up on this restaurant, I would have been like, this is the best restaurant in town, hands down, until we find something different. I agree. In all honesty, like that snapper was busting, like the bust down. Like, the, that's bread, a, the bread, the bread was, was really great. Oh my goodness. So like, it's crazy because we go to so many of these different places, it's like, 
is so many favorites. Like people always ask me, what's your favorite restaurant? In what category? I had the best bread in freaking Mexico. I had the best, I had some good bread in DR. Like, it's hard to say what's my favorite restaurant. But with that being said, this place deserves at least a 4.8. 4 All jokes aside, 4.8. Like it's literally up there with fives. All right, so now the pricing. I like to show you guys proof. Well, 824. 824. So with that being said, 824 is with the drinks included, the alcohol, the good stuff. So to me, that is a very good price. A very good price, especially for this caliber of food. Very good price. So like I said, we're here on Restaurant Week and they have a special running right now. So Restaurant Week is May 15th to June 10th. So these specials are not always here. It made me really want to taste the lamb because the, the lamb is one of the items that they had on their promotions outside. And I already know that lamb was going to be bust out. And I guarantee you, if Brittany here ate the lamb, she would have been like, yeah, this guy's dying. This guy's dying. Food Farm Finance, you've seen the review. We've told you everything we need to tell you. Just stay tuned. We're bringing you to these amazing restaurants all over the world especially mexico right now i got tons of videos on mexico i have spanish in me so it's just natural to gravitate to the spanish countries with that being said food for finance we are out get out of here